right, so the Raiders had yet another signing. It was Colton Miller, a left tackle, um, to a three-year extension worth up to 18 mil a year. Um, so very high paid. He's very high paid, and I, I mean, I think it's worth it. Um, we need our offensive line to be as good as it can be after all the absences we've had. Um, but, you know, now he's going to be the top five highest paid offensive tackles in terms of annual value, how much he's getting paid annually. Um, yeah, so the deals are worth up to $68.7 million, depending on, you know, how everything shapes out. Um, and yeah, so, I mean, I think it's a good deal. Um, he, he's a young guy. I think, you know, he brings a lot to the table. Um, and obviously, we lost Gabe Jackson, Rodney Hudson, Trent Brown. Um, and, you know, we also cleared a lot of space. I mean, those guys were highly paid, too. So I think, you know, we had the room to do it. Um, he was also considered unmovable because of his steady play. And he's young. Like I said, he's 25. Um, he had a 72.9 grade on pro football focus. Um, he allowed only just two snap sacks in 961 snaps. Um, and like, like I said, we've all, we've all, we've have also re-signed, um, guard Denzel Good and Richie Incognito is back too. So, you know, we have those guys on the line. He was, um, drafted 15th overall in 2018. Um, and he was, you know, drafted under John Gruden. Um, and he was the first member of his this um draft class to receive a contract extension from the raiders um so you know i think it's a good pickup uh to re-sign i mean you know i don't have too much feelings on it because it is offensive line and our offensive line is kind of going through some sort of rebuild it seems um but i mean this guy isn't bad uh and you know he's an emerging star i guess you could consider him so um you know we our offensive line has gone through a lot but i think this guy he brings a lot to the team so i think it's definitely a good signing so let me know what you guys think and go raiders